This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. This is Hans and Margaret Ray, and Curious George was their creation. He's not a typical animal. He's a curious monkey who, through his curiosity, gets himself into trouble, and through his own ingenuity, gets himself out of trouble. Margaret did the storytelling. It was Hans who was the artist. The idea that I could watch him magically create Curious George was very special. She cut all of the deals and pushed her way into publishers and held their feet to the fire. It was sort of like he was all the sugar and Margaret all the spice. I think their devotion to each other was what they had been through. We're living in France when we did the first Curious George. George was really born in France. Everybody thinks Curious George is such an American icon, but he was created by German Jews who lived in Paris, took him through Brazil, and then brought him to the United States. So he's as much of an immigrant as anyone. But as George came to life, the distant danger was fast approaching. The Germans were invading extraordinarily quickly. You could hear the tanks rolling in as they were bicycling out. Everywhere we went, we were suspect. I'm pretty damn sure it was George who saved us there. George was their child, and she was the first to see the curious George could become a cultural icon. They then searched to the moon to find what was spectacular. What was spectacular was around them. Isn't it amazing that all of this came out of that little book so many years ago? There are George's adventures, but then there are the Ray's adventures.